Hi, I'm Matt from Automation Fixation. Today I'll take you through how to access Home Assistant remotely, either through a browser or the mobile app. And if you haven't seen my beginner's guide playlist, check it out as this follows on from there. I'll take you through how to install DuckDNS, how to configure DuckDNS and secure browsing, and how to access via the app. Remote access is required if you wish to access Home Assistant outside of your network, or if you wish to configure a smart speaker device such as the Google Home. All right, let's get started. First of all, you will need to install the DuckDNS add-on to get a domain name. This add-on also has Let's Encrypt support to get an SSL certificate for encrypted traffic. To do this, go to Settings, Add-ons, then click on the Add-on Store button and find DuckDNS under the Official Add-on section. Click Install to install the add-on. While the add-on is installing, navigate to DuckDNS.org to set up a domain name to use with Home Assistant. You will need to create an account and then log in and then simply type in the domain name that you want and click Add Domain. Once the add-on has been installed, go to the Configuration screen and enter in the configuration details. I've found entering it directly is a little bit buggy, so you can click on the extra options dots and edit in YAML. Enter in the domain name that you just created at DuckDNS. For example, I used automationfixation.duckdns.org. You'll also need your token. To get this, Switch back to the DuckDNS page and copy the token in the top section and paste back in the configuration. Don't forget to accept the terms and conditions by changing the accept terms value from false to true. Once you are done, save and return. Now we need to add in the certificate configuration in our configurations.yaml file. Go back to the DuckDNS's add-ons documentation tab and copy the code to pick up the SSL certificates. Then navigate to Studio Code Server and paste this into your configuration.yaml file. Once you've finished, go to Developer Tools and check that the configuration file is valid. If all is good, then click Restart to restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant restarts, it should automatically communicate to DuckDNS to update the IP address for DNS forwarding. While the steps here will differ between routers, you will need to enable port forwarding to route traffic through to your Home Assistant. In this example, I'm adding a port forwarding rule on a Google Nest Wi-Fi device. To do this, go to Wi-Fi settings section of the Google Home app, then select Advanced Settings, click Port Management and add a new rule. Find the Home Assistant device and add in port 8123 external and 8123 internal. Then click TCP UDP and then save. Okay, after you've restarted Home Assistant, you'll find that you can no longer access via HTTP. Don't worry, you'll just need to update your address to use secure HTTP, HTTPS. Go to the navigation bar and type in HTTPS and reload the page. You will see this SSL certificate error as the browser is expecting the address to be a duckdns.org address. This is not an issue as we know this is our site, and so you can bypass this through clicking advanced settings and proceeding to the site. Enter in your username and password, and you're in. All right, now let's try to access through the external address. Go to the navigation bar and type in the full duckdns.org address with HTTPS at the start and reload the page. Enter in your username and password, and if all goes well, you're in. All right, so now for the final step. Let's connect through to Home Assistant through the mobile app. For this example, I'm showing the iOS version of the Home Assistant app, which is available for free in the App Store. Having the app will enable additional functionality in Home Assistant, including locational and device data for your mobile device, and also enable push notifications as part of any automation. Simply download the app and enter in the address configured earlier, and then enter in your username and password to connect. The app will then open up and you will see the overview screen for mobile. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And in my next video, I'll take you through how to integrate Home Assistant with a Google Home speaker. Thanks for watching.